Good morning. I'd uh, like to spend the next five minutes uh, sharing with you an insight on how we can get significant data analytics acceleration with inline acceleration. And so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about a few different types of data store approaches and uh, how we can get that acceleration. Starting out with the overall, of course, we want to be able to put this accelerator underneath the framework so that you don't even need to know what's going on at the accelerator level. So you see here a picture of a low-profile PCI Express card available early this next year, which is very good for inline acceleration. So in terms of inline acceleration, on the edge of the card are networking connections, so you can offload networking types of workloads. And as well, this card can be used to accelerate data access. So on the, the DMA streams from SSDs, the accelerator card can intercept those streams and do some acceleration. So I'm going to share with you a few examples on how we can use a card like this one to get significant acceleration. So, so as I said, uh, this accelerator is programmable. And uh, it's actually been used for decades in communications equipment, for base stations, uh, switches. So you can uh, data stream right into the accelerator. Uh, you can take traffic uh, off of uh, PCI Express storage controllers. And um, now that you have contr control of that data stream, you can do things like filtering, compression, encryption, completely offloading the CPU from those tasks. So you might wonder, OK, for, for my data analytics, how much time am I really spending doing these types of uh, functions? And so I have a quote here from one of our partners, Reniac. And for Cassandra, this partner observes that 75% of your CPU cycles are doing these system and I.O. functions. So think about three out of four CPU cycles, processing data access, or processing network traffic, copying data. And the opportunity here is to have the FPGA do this in line. You may have heard the term look aside, which is the idea of putting an accelerator in a PCI Express slot, having to copy data from Xeon memory to the accelerator memory, and then back to the Xeon memory. That, that adds latency, that chews up CPU cycles. So the idea here is to have the accelerator take this traffic directly and completely offload the CPU. So you can imagine that if in a workload like Cassandra, 75% of the CPU cycles are doing these types of system and I.O. traffic. Well, if you can offload that, you could get a 4x acceleration. And this is exactly what this partner is showing, for instance, on a Cassandra stress test, 4x acceleration. On the CQL reads, for instance, for Cassandra, they're handled completely by this programmable accelerator. So the networking traffic comes into the accelerator, parse the protocol, figure out the request, hash and index to pull, pull the data, and then send it back out, kind of like a proxy uh, to your Cassandra application server. And so that, and also better compression, will give you a pretty good result. Using another example, we have a partner who does traditional relational database acceleration. So in this case here, it's all about storage and being able to offload storage processing. And what they do is they've figured, they've figured out how to plug into a storage engine on open source databases like uh, Postgres or MariaDB. And so you don't have to change anything on the application. You don't need to know anything about this accelerator card. But now you can start doing inserts at 10 times faster rate than you could do before. So for real-time data analytics, uh, this is uh, very, very compelling. As well on traditional uh, relational database uh, data warehousing types of workloads, between 2 to 3x acceleration for benchmarks like TPCDS or TPCH. And so uh, as well, because of the compression, you can save on your storage uh, that you need to, to run the database on. Uh, so for very compelling functionality, and again, all of this in line on the data going to the storage, uh, even on some of the SQL commands, uh, doing some of the filtering of the traffic. Uh, so a very significant offload. Again, just by plugging, plugging in this low-profile PCI Express card. So I just wanted to kind of bring your attention to this. Over the next couple of quarters, you'll be seeing a lot of benchmarks published on this type of approach. Um, and, it, and it really is um, the, the only way to get this type of significant acceleration. So hopefully, I've uh, shared this insight with you. And uh, it'll be something you're interested in following over the next couple of quarters. Thank you very much.